Gospel, jazz, and blues singer Melba Houston died in May. Houston, who lived in Mount Airy, was famous for her voice, but people in the community knew her for her friendship and community work. Now the city is transforming a space to honor her life and legacy. I spoke to one of the organizers today. So Lizzie Morrison, the Main Street Coordinator of Mount Airy Downtown Incorporated, joining me. Uh, Lizzie, we know some great people are from Mount Airy, and Melba Houston lived there for a long time. So talk about how Mount Airy is honoring her legacy. Yes, well, we are really excited to be partnering with a group of Melba Houston's family and friends to create Melba's Alley. Um, this will be located down on Market Street in our newly formed Market Street Arts and Entertainment District. Um, it started with an idea from one of her family members to come up with a Melva Day to honor her with jazz and blues music and has just um, snowballed into this permanent space um, featuring a large mural uh, by the Greensboro artist Jex. And you're raising money, so where are you so far and how can people help out? Our goal is 30000 We are more than halfway there with around 16000 um, if you'd like to donate in person, every Friday night during the Market Street Arts and Entertainment District, we've got music, which the musicians are providing to us for free in order for us to help um, raise money for this project. Every weekend from now through November 29th, come on out to Mount Airy and support this project. Why was it important for you to honor Melva Houston's legacy? Sure. Well, Melva was an amazing musician who gave back so much to our community. Um, not a lot of people know that she started this huge Thanksgiving meal uh, program to feed people who couldn't afford Thanksgiving meals. She volunteered at a lot of the local organizations and charities. Um, and she also just shared her music with the community, um, oftentimes for free, doing concerts at Thirsty Souls. You know, a lot of people do think of Mount Airy as Mayberry, and we really do have that um, Mayberry feel, but um, we also want to show the world who Mount Airy is beyond the Andy Griffith Show, and this is a great opportunity to do that. You can also donate on GoFundMe or by sending a check to downtown Mount Airy Incorporated. By the way, the Market Street Arts and Entertainment event is from 4 until 11 every weekend through November. So the artist Tahesha actually started work on the mural today and Lizzie, who I spoke to for the piece, sent me a picture and they just have the white background painted for now. But if the weather holds out, they expect him to finish in five days. Yeah, and you showed the picture of what it will look like completed, mm -hmm. and um, I can't wait for that to happen. And I love to just, I hear about good news coming out of different communities, you know, in the triad, especially for someone who's contributed to the Mount Airy community year after year around the holidays. Uh, it's great to see uh, that people are able to memorialize her in this way. Absolutely, and the rendering of the mural, like you said, is gorgeous. It's very realistic, a photorealism vibe that uh, you don't see in a lot of street art so a very talented artist making that happen yeah and there was one of the photos it almost looked like she had a tear coming out of her eye um it kind of shows you know her her heart in her music as well absolutely so we'll keep you updated on the progress of melva's alley